The expanding Beringen bridgehead was not the only worry of the Germans. On September 8th, the British 50th Division had established a bridgehead on the road to Geel. For several days, the Germans had tried to remedy the situation by throwing in Air Force training battalions, but these inexperienced men were no match for the battle-hearted British, despite the mighty Jagdpanthers in support of their desperate attacks. On September 10th, the British had advanced into Geel itself, and the German defenders were thrown out of the town. The Germans were at that stage afraid that the British would cross the Muscat Canal and push to the Beveland Peninsula in a renewed bid to cut off 15th Army. This triggered the Germans to take drastic measures to drive the British back from Hill. General Reinhardt had only one reserve left for such an attack, the 2nd Battalion of the 6th Parachute Regiment at Maria Ter Heide. He asked and obtained the permission of Army General Student himself to move this battalion in a last bid to push the British out of Hale and destroy the British bridgehead. During the night, the paratroopers of 2nd Battalion were moved by truck through Wustwezel and Turnhout to Hale. Meanwhile, in the headquarters of 1st Parachute Army, the order went out that Hale was to be captured and held by 2nd Battalion. This order was reinforced by no less than a directive from Hitler himself that the Albert Canal was to be restored as the main line of defense at all costs. The eyes of the German high command were in other words focused on the upcoming battle for Hale. Around noon on September 11th, the 2nd Battalion arrived at the outskirts of Hale, where the Germans were holding on behind the railway embankment. The 2nd Battalion only managed to move three of its four companies, but the battalion did not lose its punch as we shall see. In any case, the battalion did not move in as one in a mass charge. It split up in companies which attacked from different directions. And within these companies, the men split up in combat teams which moved from cover to cover to sneak up to the enemy. A tactic they had learned from the veterans who had used it extensively in the hedgerows of Normandy. This way, the 6th and 7th company infiltrated their way up to the main road to Hale, while the 5th company crawled over the fields towards the British lines so they managed to surprise them in their own trenches. Battalion commander Mager lost contact with his companies, but the Fallschirmjäger knew what was expected of them. They wrested Hale from the hands of the 6th Battalion of Durham Light Infantry, despite the fact that the British were supported by a tank squadron of the Sherwood Rangers. The German paratroopers were however armed with Panzerfausts and took out several tanks in the process of capturing the town. Heinz Koerner, commander of the 5th company, even claimed to have killed several tanks while taking a drink in a bar. It came to savage urban combat with frequent hand-to-hand -hand fighting, and the 6th Battalion of the Durham Light Infantry buckled under the relentless pressure and was almost overrun. The exhausted battalion hurriedly had to evacuate under the cover of their remaining tanks, which held the pursuing Fallschirmjäger at bay. By the end of the afternoon, Heel was firmly back in German hands. The victory of the Fallschirmjäger in Heel did not end the agony of the British Northumbrian division north of the Albert Canal, and fighting continued unabated the next day. In the morning, the sister battalions of the 6th Durham Light Infantry were subjected to artillery fire, and the 9th Durham Light Infantry had to beat off an attack from the Fallschirmjäger in one of the last German efforts to destroy the British bridgehead over the Albert Canal. There was, however, a dramatic turn of events for both sides. The British were bringing in two brigades of the Scottish 15th Division south of the Albert Canal. German intelligence picked up this large movement of troops, and this raised alarms up to army group level. Field Marshal Walter Model immediately went to General Reinhardt's headquarters to discuss this developing situation. The Germans believed that the British were bringing in an extra division to redouble their efforts to break through over the Muscat Canal. As a result, the Germans retreated behind this canal to prepare their defenses behind this natural barrier. In reality, the British brought up the Scottish division to replace the battered Northumbrian division. This meant that the local success of the Fallschirmjäger at Geel was practically undone within a day, but the boys of the 2nd Battalion had proven to be a bane for the British. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications for new content.